Mr. Crisis discussed the Duke of Sussex's choice to attend the Invictus Games in the Netherlands, despite two weeks ago refusing to come back to the UK for the royal event. Many royal experts have reacted to Prince Harry's decision to exclude himself from Prince Philip's memorial service at Westminster Abbey. Mr. Christie's expressed how angry the Duke of Sussex's decisions made him, erupting and telling him to stay in The Hague. The GB News host said, Prince Harry would have been safer coming to Britain for his grandfather's memorial service than going to Holland for the Invictus Games in a fortnight. That is according to the senior police officer who protected him and his mother. Now they say that the Duke of Sussex has made the decision to cross the Atlantic for the Higgs shortly after refusing to be with his British family in Westminster Abbey 10 days ago. He continued, so he'll be in the Netherlands for the international sports competition for injured or sick military personnel and veterans from across the globe, which takes place on April 16-22. Of course, elsewhere his darling wife Meghan has attempted to trademark the word archetypes. Mr. Christie's added, you know that word that no one uses apart from her pretty much, in the title of her first podcast series for the streaming giant Spotify. The word that has been around for hundreds and hundreds of years, I mean she really does just see something and want it, doesn't she? I think although, to be fair she'd get that with Harry, but I want to know what you think about this with Harry. I'm less bothered about Meghan trademarking the word archetypes, I just think that's part of the cause with her, isn't it? But Prince Harry, I was very very angry about that, I was very angry they didn't come back for Prince Philip's memorial service. Mr. Christie's added, I was very angry of course that he left the Queen there, yet again didn't he, sitting without her grandson. And I just thought it was an absolutely massive slap in the face, not just to our royal family but to us as a nation. Actually there's plenty of people who feel like they've grown up with Harry, who have seen him since he was a child, who have cried tears when he's cried tears. Who have laughed with him when he's laughed who have loved him, supported him and helped him out, and actually now, what's the point? Why did he not muster the courage to be able to come back, I think that's absolutely disgraceful and it's absolutely disgusting, if he thinks he's safe in Holland maybe he should just stay there. Russell Myers, royal editor at the Daily Mirror, echoed a similar sentiment as Mr. Christie's. Mr. Myers said, I think that certainly, Harry will have regretted not being there, Philip's memorial service. I know that there was someone in the armed forces, who was speaking quite eloquently after the service and knew Harry, said that he thought he would regret it as well. He's going to be at the Invictus Games at The Hague, just a short, less than an hour, flight from here in the Netherlands in a couple of weeks. It just seems an absolutely bizarre decision to have made. In other news, the Duke of Sussex has joked with one of his instructors from Sandhurst, telling her that she used to shout at him so much. Harry surprised Invictus Games Team UK competitors with a video call as members gathered for a final training camp before the event takes place in the Netherlands later this month. The Duke founded the Games to aid the rehabilitation of injured or sick military personnel and veterans from across the globe, by giving them the challenge of competing in sporting events similar to the Paralympics. After being delayed by the pandemic, the next staging of the international competition will take place in The Hague from April 16-22. The room erupted in laughter when Harry commented on the fact that competitors had had two years to prepare for the games and that therefore fitness should not be an issue. You realize that no one, not just you guys, no one's got any excuses for not being fit now, he joked. Harry also inquired about former Royal Army Physical Training Corps instructor Vic Wales, who was one of the instructing staff while he was a cadet at Sandhurst.